Okay, Lasoyo. I, I put your name on the video. Yes, I did. You want drama? Here you go. You're going to get drama. So pay attention. This is something uh, Raw does whenever he's got drama going on. So I'm going to do it. There you go. Well, so you the drama starts now. I've had it with you. Listen to me. All right? I'm not kidding around. The gospel of Jesus Christ, what is it? I hope you're listening. The gospel is the singularly most important communication of God to man. In Jesus, who is God the Son, we have the revelation of God's love and sacrifice that saves us from God's righteous judgment upon sinners. If you are not a Christian and you want to know how to be forgiven of your sins and follow Christ, or if you're curious to know what, a Christ, what the Christian gospel is, then listen to me. And I'm obviously reading this. But listen to what I'm reading. The Bible tells us that what the gospel is. 1 Corinthians. See what I just did? See it? It, it, People talk about this little mark right here. And now when I make videos, every now and then I go like that. Because I'm self-conscious about this. Hitler, Mark, anyway. The Gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preach to you. I hope you don't mind. Paul wrote this. Which also you received, in which also you stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast to the word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain, for I delivered to you at of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. You see, Soyo, the Bible says that we are all sinners. Romans 3.23 says for the for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God that means that we have all offended God we have all broken his law doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter how good you think you are whether you claim to be a moderate Christian or an atheist or a Christian or a non-Christian or whatever We've all fallen short. That means we've offended God. We've broken his law. Therefore, we are guilty and have sinned. Because of this, we are separated from God. Isaiah 59, 2 says, But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he, so that he does not hear. And we are dead in our sins. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2.3 says Among them we too all formerly lived in the lust of our flesh, indulging in the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath. And we can't please God. Romans 3.10 and 9 says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There's none who seeks after God. And as such, we will suffer damnation, 2 Thessalonians 1.9. These will pay the penalty of eternal destruction away from the presence of our Lord and from the glory of his power. The only way to escape this judgment is by receiving Christ. By trusting in what Jesus did on the cross, 
we and that we that is described in John fourteen six. Jesus said to him, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me." Acts four twelve. And there is salvation and none other, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men whereby we must be saved. And Second Peter two twenty four says. And he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness, for by his wounds we are healed. Osoyo, I hope you're listening. All right? I hope you're listening. Since we are all sinners, we are incapable of removing the guilt of our sinfulness through our own efforts. Galatians 2.21 says, If righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. The law is to do and to don't of moral behavior. In other words, we cannot become righteous by what we do. Why? Because we're dead in our sins. Ephesians 2.3, I read it earlier. <clears throat> this means that since we can't remove our sins, God must do it. Jesus, who is God in the flesh. <clears throat> John 1.1, 1, 1, God in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 8.58, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. Colossians 2.9 For in him all the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. So Jesus, who is God in the flesh, bore our sins in his body on the cross. 1 Peter 2.24, I read it before. He died in our place. <coughs> Excuse me. He paid the penalty of breaking the law of God that should have fallen upon us. He satisfied the law of God the Father by dying on the cross. It is only through Jesus that we can escape the penalty that God will execute upon all who have broken his holy and perfect law. And here's the key part, Lasoya. Here's the key part. Now listen to me. We've been hanging out, we've been exchanging videos and Skype and all this, but here's the most important thing. My dog is barking. She'll be fine. I just took her out before I came down here. But the soil. In order to understand who God is, you first have to believe that there is a God. You can't, you can't begin to understand and to critique who the character of God when you don't believe in God, and this is very important to everybody who's watching this, the, once you understand who God is, which obviously you can't if you don't believe in God, but until you believe in God and begin to understand the character of God, then you'll understand how this all makes sense. Because you can't understand the wretchedness of mankind until you know who God is. And if you're an atheist and you don't believe in God, then this doesn't make any sense to you. Because you can't understand who God is as long as you're not believing in that there is a God. And like I said, it's the character of God that reveals the sinfulness of mankind. It's most important. Do you want to be saved from righteous judgment of God? If so, if you want to become a Christian and follow God, then you must realize that you have sinned against God and are under the judgment of you must look to Jesus who died on the cross and trust what he did in order for you to be forgiven of your sentence and be saved from the judgment of God. This is the accomplished 
by faith alone in what Jesus has done. You, Lasoyo, and me, and everybody else, we can't add anything. Human, we can't add any of our works to what Jesus has done. It's only through what Jesus has done. And that, Lasoyo, is the gospel of Jesus Christ. You're getting hungry. It's a long video. Raw taught me how to make these videos. And um, these aren't potato chips. These are corn chips. That's my favorite soda right there. The vanilla zero. I drink it like one or two cans a day. All right. How do you talk after you eat? With soil. Do you get where I'm coming from? This is, uh, it's not drama at all, is it? <laughs> because that gospel that I just read, you agree with. I know. You're my brother in Christ. I love you. But why did I put you on that video that I'm going to add as a reply to uh, Live Life? I did it for two reasons. The debate is good. Live Life made his video and uh, played the Bart Ehrman at the end. And the same argument that Bart uses in that argument, the same <laughs> argument that he uses in that lecture, he uses in the debate against James White. James White does an excellent job at, re at debunking it. And I want Live Life to watch it. I want all his followers to watch it. I want everyone to watch it. I want you to watch it. I want Rational Roundtable to watch it. I believe Rational Roundtable believes in this gospel as well, and he's my brother also. I put your names on the video because I want more people to watch it. And uh, you had said some things in Hangouts before about wondering if the Bible had been tampered with or men had certain agendas, and I thought it applied. And uh, it, it does to a certain extent, but even if it doesn't at all, it's a great, it's a great debate. And I, I like to get as many people to watch it as possible. Lasoyo, this isn't drama. This is me getting the gospel out there to everybody else. That's why I made this video. That's why I uh, attached your name to that other video. I'm using you. I'm using you to get the gospel out. I hope you don't mind. I hope you're not offended. Love you, brother. We do not agree on everything. I, 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 that's fine. We're uh, all growing in grace and knowledge, and uh, it, it's been it's it's been fun to know you and uh, interact with you. So, until I see you again, take care, brother.